Hey, it's Lynn with Soft Squares. Today we're going to do a quick video on types of pre-cut fabrics that you can get. Pre-cuts are sets of fabrics from a certain, from a, a complete line of fabrics, meaning everything in it coordinates and is meant to go together or could go together very well. It's great for people like me who do quilting and you have a, want a lot of variety. Um, to the old way of quilting, at least in my mind, is to take yardage, like what you see over here, and cut it up which is great. You can still do that and I actually still mix that up quite a bit. But these pre-cuts give you variety of something that coordinates already and you get enough that you can do something with it and just kind of mix it up. So there's all kinds of patterns out there. Missouri Star Quilt Company does pretty much everything as a pre-cut in their world. So their patterns are really easy that way. But what it is is a pre-cut is or, or sorry, yeah, pre-cut one of these. This is called a layer cake, which is 10, 10 by 10, and it's actually four of these, four of these. So these are five by five, this is a charm pack. So they just come in different sizes, five by five, 10 by 10, charm pack. There's usually 40 to 42 squares per bundle. You might get some duplicates of some fabrics, just depending on what's in the line, but you can pretty much count on 40 to 42. You can also get pre-cuts in what they call a jelly roll. Doesn't that make you hungry thinking of jelly roll and layer cake? <laughs> anyway, uh, same thing. They're going to put a little bit of everything from that particular line on the jelly roll. This particular one has 40 strips on it and it's two and a half inches wide by the width of fabric. And so you're seeing a trend here, right? So we went from 10 to 5 to two and a half. These are all easy to integrate together because they are coordinating in size. Now one more thing I want to point out is the fat quarters. This one is already opened, but these were these came together. They, again, same concept that is the same line. They coordinate. You can use them together. You don't have to, but if you want to, you know you're not going to go wrong. And so you're going to get, um, it, and fat quarters come in all ranges of numbers that you could get in it. You can get them individually, like here's this one I bought solo, and um, but when you buy fat quarters they're, they're going to be different and just look at what the package says. You can't predict it like you can these other two things. But the difference with this is the fat quarter, now a quarter of a yard, okay let's back up. So a yard is 36 inches, a half a yard is 18 inches, and a quarter of a yard is nine inches. Everything is cut by the width of the fabric. But the width of the fabric on a, a quarter yard is not as practical as you would think. So here's nine inches, and it would be about basically 44 to 42 inches long. But think how much more you can do if you were to have a square. So what they do is it's now 18 inches wide, but it's only 20 inches, 18 by 20. So they've cut it in half. You cannot go up to the cut counter at any store, or at least not that I know of, and ask them to cut something like this size off of the bolt. You always get it by the width of the fabric. So the nice thing about this is you get a chunkier piece of fabric that you could do something with, and they come with buddies that you can play with. So really, it kind of makes the guesswork, it takes it out. You might want a basic or a blender, black or white or some solid, but really you've got everything you need right there for whatever you're going to work on. It can be a quilt, it can even be a placemat, whatever. So I just wanted to show you really quickly some ideas of the pre-cuts. There's more, there's some itty bitty ones that are two and a half by two and a half square, <laughs> which takes this and cuts it down. So it makes cutting really easy. You can even get them in solids, just depending on the line. Um, but they're really good for mixing up and giving you more variety. And it's really good for people who don't have time or the patience, or maybe even struggle with trying to coordinate fabrics on their own. This you know, you can't go wrong. Okay, so good luck with that. I'd love to hear in the comments if you have used pre-cuts, what you think about them. I haven't converted completely to pre-cuts, but lately it's kind of been my, my thing. But let me know if you're using them. And thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.